Hi, I'm James Marshall Smith. I live on the outskirts of Atlanta, Georgia. My book is entitled Operation Silent Source. Well, I started writing decades ago, but I always had trouble finishing a novel. Only in uh, uh, recent years, when I started writing essentially every day, did I uh, finally come up with a, a, a way of completing a novel. <laughs> the subject of my book was uh, easy to choose. It's based on hard science, and I'm a scientist. I was at the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention for a number of years. I like to write about what I know. You know, I think it's um, fantastic to uh, enter these contests. Uh, I would encourage all writers out there to do so. You have to, you have to give it your very best stuff, and it takes a lot of time, but, but the return, the feedback that you can get can be phenomenal. You know, when you uh, enter a, a writing contest, you're going to see how you stack up against all your other fellow writers, too, and that can, that can help you in uh, making sure that you're giving it your, your very best. And yeah, I didn't. I didn't share my writing with people. It's only in the latter. It's only recently, you know, that I started sharing. Like with uh, my, my, uh, my neighborhood, it got neighbors, brought neighbors together and we sat around in my living room. They'd all read the, the manuscript and gave me feedback. That was really the first time I really shared it, other than with my wife, my editor-in-chief. <laughs> and when they gave me tremendous feedback, and that really helped uh, shape my story for the, uh, for the later years, I recommend that as a, as a way of uh, uh, getting real good and instant feedback from, from potential readers. Well, yeah, was I nervous about uh, sharing uh, this, this, this early versions of the story with my neighbors and with my friends? Yeah, because I really had no idea where I was going with it and whether it was really worth pursuing publication. But as soon as I started getting feedback from them, I, I was blown away. Uh, that really is what propelled me forward. Is there any special message in my book? I suppose uh, for all of us writers, we have in our subconscious uh, a message or a theme. Uh, in Operation Silent Source, I think my message is best summed up in the beginning. I have a quote from James Thurber. All men should strive to learn before they die what they are running from and to and why. Operation Silent Source is actually my second novel, but my first priority is to get it published. And then I'll be working on polishing my first novel, which is Operation Wolfstock. Uh, like uh, Jaws, which made people afraid to go into the surf for a number of years, I hope that Operation Wolfstock will um, make uh, hikers afraid to go into the backwoods. You know, I suppose what really got me into writing, what compelled me to start writing, was uh, the book Andromeda Strain by Michael Crichton. As soon as I read that and realized this is a physician writing in medical school, a, a story that he thought up, I thought, you know, I, I, I think I can do that. I'd, I'd, like, I'd like to be a writer like that, too. That's perfect. You're a pro, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, you right. And went, I can come at this a different way and make it feel better. <laughs> sure, thank you.